we go. <coughs> you would not believe it. But Manchester United football is back. Yes. And we're on the main channel again. I'm sorry for being on the main channel again. UKFC, I'm banned till Christmas. It's a Christmas present. Um, I should be live on Boxing Day. I'll be live Boxing Day night for WA viewers on the 27th morning for... Um, for Vic viewers, but here we go. The watch longs are here for Man United. Back on UKFC, as I just said on Boxing Day, when the band's over, uh, we'll have a, we'll have daily videos from like the 25th till New Year's um, to catch up on everything. So yeah, that's what we're doing. But here are the lineups on the side. My clock started running for some reason. Here are the lineups on the side. We've got Martin Dubravka in goal, despite David De Gea not being in the World Cup. We've got a back four of Aaron Wan Bissaka. When was the last time we saw him playing a professional game? Tyrell Malasia at left back. Victor Lindelof with Casemiro at centre-back. What the fuck is happening? Um, obviously, he got knocked out. Um, probably Brazil's best player at the World Cup, Casemiro. Um, yeah, he'll be starting at centre-back. With Scott McTominay in the midfield with Bruno Fernandes and Christian Eriksen in the front three. Anthony Martial, uh, Alejandro Garnacho on the right, which I'm a bit iffy about. Rashford on the left, Martial up top. I'm really <coughs> concerned why Anthony's not starting. We're pushing Garnacho to the right. Really, really strange decision. But uh, here we go. Then there's Burnley's lineup. Peacock, Farrell in goal. Matson, Bayer, Harwood, Bellis, Roberts, Cork, Cullen, Brownhill, Gudmanson, Barnes, Benson. Um, obviously, under legendary Manchester City player, Vincent Company. Quick shout out to, uh, to, to Jagan Sancho. Quick shout out to Jagan Sancho. He's battling a bit of mental health issues at the moment, I believe. So hopefully <laughs> he's going all good. Um, he was my favourite player last season. That's why I got him on the back of the shirt for this season. Um... Yeah, I hope he's going all right, because I absolutely love the bloke. I love the player. I really hope he works out, and this doesn't turn, <coughs> turn out to be a fucking Paul Pogba shirt or something, or a flop shirt. Here we go. It's kickoff. Let's go. The thing is about McTominay, I think he will play well today, but not if he's going to push forward as a number 10. Like, well, come on, stay back. Get in between Lindelof and Casemiro. I just really think that McTominay... Because McTominay, I think, played centre-back for United a lot. No, he did, I remember. Like, 2018, 2019, McTominay played centre-back a lot for United. I he don't get this Casemiro thing. He plays centre-back for Scotland. I know. I, like, Casemiro literally does not play centre-back in any competition. We're not, yeah, Henderson's out for the first Prem game back against us. Here goes Rashford down the right. Who actually looks okay. He hasn't looked terrible. But that is why you don't play him on the right. Because he... It, in that situation, Rashford is so good at dribbling and cutting in. And he can't do that on the right. Just said that, like, it doesn't feel like it because we've only played one Carabao game so far. But if we win this, we're into the quarterfinals. And Man City and Liverpool play each other. Like, yeah, we've got a good a shot at winning there. this. We've got a good... I mean, even... <sighs> I don't know. I mean, this is, this is easily our most winnable competition. Go, Bruno. Come on, Bruno. Find something. Oh, I thought he had it. Oh... Was there a handball there? There's no like, standout man in the match so far. I'm going to almost probably say it's Ericsson, but I can't give one. I think it's too early to sell. Yeah, if, if I literally have to pick one, I'd give it to Ericsson, but, you know, it's way too early. God, that just made a few good runs. He has, but he hasn't been as clean as he usually is, but, you know. Yeah. He creates, he creates chances, he creates flair. And obviously, I, I never watched Rooney or Ronaldo when they were younger, but when you hear people say... Um, that he reminds that he reminds them of them, then you just get so excited. McTominay through Martial, and he oh, should have gone to Ganacho. Balls in, Fan Fernandez. Oh, he, come on, he's onside. Just oh, no. they would have called offside by now. No, I just thought the hope is for an injury. Surely there's no, surely there's no VAR in the Carabao. Right, they definitely would have called offside by now. One Bissaka oh, in oh, Ericsson, what a goal! That's that cold. is absolutely world class! Holy shit! What an assist, Aaron Wan Bissaka! I was My not expecting that! Yeah! <laughs> We're winning the league! <laughs> I tell you, what, Christian Eriksen, um, what, is that back to back matches he's scoring for United? Did he scored against Fulham, didn't he? Does the warm up count? Like the. No, no, warm ups don't count. That, that, was, barely, uh, that was barely televised on MUTV. <laughs> That, I mean, yeah. come on, that's fantastic. What oh my this? god, Aaron Wan Bissaka. I don't even know if he meant to get it to him. Is that is that Aaron Wan Bissaka or Diogo Delo in disguise? Well, <laughs> or Cafu in disguise? Hakimi, that's Hakimi. Hakimi, Cafu, Delo. No, it's Aaron Wan Bissaka. And Ericsson has back to back games with the United goals. 
Fun it's fact, insane. the first Danish player to score a United goal since Peter Schmeichel. Fuck off, Peter Schmeichel. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that's not even a joke. <laughs> he was the when? first ever Prem goalkeeper to score. So Charlton Brogan remains 0-0. If that goes to penalties, especially after 90, then, you know. And this stream might not be eight hours, because we're not watching the World Cup with 10 minutes at a time. Actually, look, I, it gets shit for being a shit spurt, shirt sponsor. I think it looks good. We, we could have about 500 worse ones. Yeah, like, uh, Chevy. Chev I mean, Chevrolet was just disgusting. I know. It would have actually looked okay if it wasn't, like, the gold. It was just, like, a white outline of the logo. Oh, oh in the box. McSauce the is there. Yeah. Ganacho playing as a wing back. Oh, Shit, fuck. get rid of it! Oh, oh one Basaka, man yeah. of the match! What? <laughs> fucking hell. That, I mean, you can't get much closer to a goal than that. Yeah. Just quickly, Maguire was named on the lineup that everyone was given to at Old Trafford. He was a late out due to illness. Oh, that's not good. So I've got to say, I'm really happy Casemiro's here. I thought he was pretty good in the World Cup. Well, like, he definitely was. That's because international football is ten times slower than United football. True. And Maguire's not getting to that. Casemiro is. Only he's in the back five, and they're playing a back four. Yeah, I know, but he he works well with Stones. He does. Maybe we should tell him to City. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing Stones benches Laporte and Diaz. Sorry, Maguire benches Laporte and Diaz. And that will end the half. That's half time, and um, I'm satisfied because we're up. It hasn't been a vintage Man United performance, but you've got to remember what when when you're going to get a vintage Man United performance against Burnley. Obviously, it was good that Ronaldo left in the situation. By the way, this is the first watch along, like proper professional watch along with no Ronaldo as a it's Man not United a good player. No, definitely not a good situation we left on. But if, if we had the Ronaldo, not the team of last season, but the Ronaldo of last season and the mindset of last season, even if he's not as good, we just need him. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, what a goal by Marcus oh, Rashford! That, that was it. such good ball control. That finish is world class from Rashi. It's 2-0. <laughs> Go on, Marcus. Off the right as well. Isn't that a Marcus Rashford goal off the right? And United look like they are heading to the Carabao Cup quarterfinals. I mean, I, I, that's right. I'm, I'm not. Re I'm going to repeat this. Manchester United are heading to a cup quarterfinal. UKFC. We thought the UKFC curse was here for United making cup, cup knockouts, but here we go. How about this? And that's full time. I repeat, Manchester United are off to the Carabao Cup quarterfinals.